I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works for You. Here are today's top stories. Tulsa police make an arrest in a six year old cold case. James Bishop is now in custody for the September 2013 murder of Tyler Gregg. Gregg was shot and killed in a neighborhood near 51st and Peoria. Bishop is in prison in Texas and is being held there until he can be extradited here to Oklahoma. Police say the arrest comes after detectives re examined the case and re interviewed witnesses. Officers say new evidence shows Bishop and another suspect shot and killed Gregg during a robbery. And Tulsa police have a man in custody accused of stabbing and killing someone at an apartment complex. Authorities arrested Charles Ingram. Officers say Ingram and 28 year old Deshaun Harper got into a fight at the Ivy Place Apartments. That's near Admiral and Garnett just before midnight last night. Police say that's when Ingram stabbed Harper twice. Harper was taken to the hospital where they say he died. Police say Ingram approached officers and surrendered. Tulsa police say they'll be filing manslaughter charges. McAllister fire crews are searching what's left of a building in downtown after a devastating fire there. The flames destroying the clothing store and several apartments above it. Now seven people are without a home. This morning crews had to put out hot spots all morning. Stay with us as we follow that investigation. And let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Aaron, a nice looking Friday forecast, sunny skies into the upper 40s for later this afternoon. South winds between about 5 and 15 below the average high for today. The average is into the mid 50s by early tomorrow morning, right at freezing 32. So not as cold this morning. It was all the way down to 19 in the Tulsa area. 30 tomorrow morning in Bartlesville, upper 20s in Muskogee, 32 in McAllister. Your latest 10 day forecast tomorrow, 57 chance for rain showers very late at night. Rain showers on Sunday, showers for Monday morning and Tuesday before we dry out on Wednesday. Aaron. All right, thanks, Brandon. That was a look at our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.